Hey guys, and we are back with more Story of Seasons. Today is the Harvest Festival, so we're going to be checking that out today. Now, I am doing something a little differently today. I am doing post-commentary, meaning I have already played this and I'm commentating afterwards. I don't normally do that, I don't like to do that, but my audio got screwed up majorly. I don't really know how this happened because I recorded a couple videos at the same time and only one of them, to my knowledge, got messed up. But the audio was awful, it was very tinny and filled with noise and it wasn't something that I could easily fix so I said screw it, I'll just re-record the audio so it's not going to be exactly the same. But I figured we could just hang out and chat and hopefully that will be just as good for you guys. So. Yes, today is the Harvest Festival, so we have to take a crop down to Veronica, who's standing in front of the trading post area. And we don't have any great crops for that. We have a sad little turnip that we saved, and it's not even that great. Right now we're just checking out our cows, seeing how happy they are. And there's a lot of crap in this barn. We really need to make the pitchfork to get rid of that. And that's me trying to drive the horse, which I suck at. I cannot drive in video games, be it a car or a horse or the Batmobile, it doesn't matter. I am very bad at it. So there's our sad little turnip with a half a star. And it's being entered into the vegetables category. Let's see how we do. Spoiler alert, we lose. <laughs> in case you couldn't figure that out. Welcome everyone to this year's Spring Harvest Festival. Allow me to introduce the contestants in the vegetables category. Entry 1, Margaret's Farm Elise, who everyone hates because she is a jerk face. And then we have Grandma with a sheep on her head. And this lady who I've never seen before in my life. Does she, do these people even live here? And then there's us, aren't we so cute? We're very cute. Now I have the honor of introducing our guest judge, the renowned horticulture expert. Howdy, folks. I'm Matsuba, a specialist in horticulture. We got some fantastic entries today, and I'm going to take a real close look at each and every one of them. I apologize to everyone I just offended. We will now begin the judging section. I think that's what she said. I must have skipped through this very quickly because I cannot read that fast. <laughs> oh, now this is a surprise. Well, well, what a nice piece of work. Well grown, well grown. It is a very large turnip. I can see why he is, you know, impressed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's never a good sign. <laughs> His ear wiggled. Did anybody else see that? Right, right, I see. Okay. Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, it seems the judging has concluded in all of five seconds. I will now announce the winners. In first place, and the winner of this year's Spring Harvest Festival is... It's totally us. Just wait for it, wait for it. What? Sheep woman. Damn it. <laughs> We're in last place. Oh, someday, guys. Someday we will win a festival. Maybe, possibly, hopefully. So, yeah, afterwards it's always a good idea to talk to people because in previous Harvest Moon games, their affection for you or friendship or whatever you want to call it would go up if you talk to them on festival days. So I always try to talk to everyone. I usually cut bits of it out because, I mean, that's kind of boring. But, yep, we're just going around talking to people. It's too bad you didn't win today, but don't let it get you down. Remember, there'll always be next time. And that's what Rieger had to say to us. Such a gentleman. Well done, Kiri. You may not have won, but do not let it get you too much. Effort always pays off. Why am I in such a foul mood? I'm not in a foul mood. You are imagining things. I simply do not have much, much interest in vegetables. He's sassy today. Rude. Okay, so we left the festival to go back in to hopefully sell some stuff at um, Silk Country. But we get a tutorial. Hello, Kira. How's everything going on your farm? I know it's a lot of new stuff to take in, but I hope you're doing well. Keep on bringing your items to ship. Oh yes, there's one thing I've been meaning to pass along to all the farmers here. 
Recently, many countries have put in requests for specific items. It seems they're really in a crunch to find these items, so I made a list that all of you farmers can take a gander at. You should think about filling some of these requests. There's no rush, and hey, it's a seller's market if you do. You got it. Thank you. You can speak to me whenever I'm here at the desk to inquire about the requests. Choose accept requests of you. Okay, I'm not gonna talk anymore. A book! I knew a thing or two about books, and that's a book. Hooray, we got another book. Okay, so basically, um, the countries will have certain items that they are looking for, and they will give you extra stuff for them if you accept the request and then fulfill it. So, for example, sell countries looking for a squid, and they'll give you small lumber and milk as an appreciation for that. So. You can accept, I think, however many you want. There are certain ones I didn't bother to accept because I have no way of getting them, like wool and eggs and stuff. Like, I just... Right now, we have no way of getting those items, so I didn't bother accepting them. But a squid, we can get. And now to the general store, where we get another cutscene. It's just full of cutscenes today. Mm. Achacha! That's dumb. <laughs> Who says that? Huh? What was your name again? Oh my. Should I take him to the clinic? I think he's having some memory problems. Alright, oh, right, you can not care. I have one tooth. Huh? I'll be here, alright. At least I didn't break a hip or anything. Oh my god. <gasps> oh. What if he did? What would we do? We'll probably leave the shop. I probably wouldn't help because I'm just I'm just a mean person sometimes. Maybe I just don't like his top hat. Hey yeah, uh, when did I need to leave my shop for again, huh? Should this man be allowed to run a store by himself? I think that's a bigger question. Because I could just come in and take something and be like, hey, uh, I bought this yesterday and he'd be like, huh, okay. So probably not a good idea. Well, we just got a free fishing rod, so that's cool. Hey, you this for many years. I was just on my way to your farm. Okay. Um, are you sure? Because you didn't really remember who I was, so I'm not sure if I can take you seriously. Yes, we have to the river. <laughs> are we going to learn chain fishing? Oh, freaking chain fishing for shinies. That's what I've been doing on my Pokemon X and Y, my personal game, because I just got the shiny charm not too long ago. And freaking uh, chaining for shinies, either in the grass or fishing, annoys the crap out of me. Like, oh, it's so monotonous and annoying. And I haven't even gotten anything for it yet, so... I'm very bitter about shinies <laughs> right now. Also, I caught a boot. Damn it. Ah, don't worry. Here's your fish. Hi. I needed that boot. He's probably gonna sell it in his store. There was a little, uh, section where there were boots. Ew, that's probably how he gets his stock. He just goes fishing and then just puts the boots in there. They're not even matched up. It's like a size 5 and a size 10. Okay, so then we kind of skipped ahead because there was nothing really that we were doing besides gathering stuff. Um, so it's the flower festival today, so we're gonna be giving flower to people. Fla flowers, not actual flower, not like a bag of flour. Um... And we also finally made the pitchfork because I got enough iron, which was amazing and took way too long. So it costs five iron to make, and we have that now, which is really freaking useful. Because there's a lot of crap everywhere, and we need to take care of that. Alright, let's stab it and watch it just disappear, because that is how poop works in real life. If you stab it, it will disappear. Little known fact. I guess our cows are happy. They freaking should be. I have a nice little grass patch for them. We got a fertilizer peach tree. Hopefully, well, I guess it'll probably take part way through um, summer for the tree to start giving peaches. Because we planted it partway through spring. I can't remember exactly when.
And uh, we're just gathering some stuff. Because that's what you gotta do like every day. I normally cut this part out, but there we go. Time jump. We're gonna go give our buddy Rieger a flower. Because today he cannot reject us for giving him a flower. We will give him a moondrop flower. It's a big flower. Here you go, buddy. You like it? Oh, today's the flower festival, huh? I guess that's why people have been giving me flowers all day. Well, thanks, Kita. It's a lovely gesture. That would be why the people are giving you flowers. Oh, is that a present for the flower fair? Why, thank you. You're welcome, dude. You've been a force for positive change since you first came here, Kita. Thank you! So sweet. Just so sweet. And we have the flower for Mistel. No flower for Fritz because Fritz can go... You know what. He can go jump in the river. Maybe he likes Fritz. Oh, is this for the flower fair? Thank you. You're welcome, dude. Well, that's all the time we have for this episode. I'm sorry it was short, but, you know. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.